Good evening. Airport Link is open and Brisbane drivers, it seems, love the link. Some calling it a dream road. But the tunnel operators are not saying just how many cars used it for free in the first 17 hours of operation. Jesse Grayson is at the Kedron end of the tunnel. And Jesse, how is it coping with the afternoon peak? Georgie, we're at Stafford Road, Kedron, and over the past hour that we've been here, there have been plenty of cars willing to give it a go, even toot the horn as they head into the tunnel. But have a look at the other side of the road here, and you can see exactly what's going on as you're coming out. Plenty of cars stuck in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. The fumes here are almost overwhelming. Some pretty frustrated drivers here, not what they were expecting. As for how many people have used the tunnel today, Despite all of the state-of-the-art technology that's in this tunnel, Bris Connections isn't saying. They're saying they're going to release the figures after a week. But as we go to the air right now, you can see that uh, the Airport Link Tunnel really does look like a big spaghetti junction, something that, like you'd see in the United States. So it could be a while before drivers really do get used to how the, how the tunnel functions. But as of late last night, Brisbane drivers, after all of the talk, got a chance to go and inspect it themselves and have a drive. Just shy of midnight, and a new dawn for Brisbane commuters begins. There he is. Here he comes. Woo! <laughs> Fantastic. Sean Anderson will forever be known as the first to officially drive Airport Link. I gave it a few little, little burps for the exhaust, so it did sound really good. It echoes really well in there. Close behind was a sleek red monster ready to drive through the monster project. But as the morning peak approached, some drivers struggled to make sense of the 6.8 kilometre tunnel and its four exits and entrances. The RACQ is urging patience, courtesy and planning. You get in the correct lane early and uh, you'll find that it should work quite well, even though the intersections do look a little bit confusing. Politicians wanted a multi-camera view of the historic moment. Sydney and Melbourne would love to have something like this, I think, and, and it, it, it will fundamentally change the city. Brisbane Lord Mayor Graham Quirk says gone are the days of accidents grinding the city to gridlock. You've got a whole menu of opportunities of traffic movement and uh, this is a revolutionary project. Airport link projections say 135,000 cars will drive it daily. A similar number was touted for Clem 7. Tolls will be charged at the end of August, the make or break moment. I feel fantastic. It's a really great day, a great day for Brisbane, great day for South East Queensland. And after years of noise, dust and disruption, peace for the neighbouring residents who lived through construction. So the toll-free period uh, goes right through this weekend. You can jump on the Clem 7 as well and drive that, and uh, Brisbane can fall in love with all of these tunnels and, and see if they work long term.